All right, so Brad, this is the collection that we've been talking about. This is the Superpowers display that you created. What's, what's your favorite piece? If you had to pick one of these that was your favorite, can you do that? Robin, really? Every time. Why, is, why Robin? I like the color. I like that he has the chopping hand. I'm a big Dick Grayson fan. I like, I just like the idea of Robin being that, you know, he was created specifically for kids to feel like they could be a part of the story. That's the whole reason he came into being. I mean, it was just, hey, I can be with Batman and go on adventures. And again, in a lot of ways, it's the weirdest of what's up here because he has no pants. He has tiny little legs. Again, he has the hand slap. I just, I think he's neat. Yeah. I always like, like Brainiac. I love the shiny stuff, yeah, the metal yeah. stuff too. And you have Cyborg. Here. So which which piece was the one that took you the longest to find? Which was the hardest to find? It was Shazam, easily. Like I just I just couldn't like I would magically like Cyborg being a harder piece to find, a more expensive piece. Knew a guy that had some stuff and it was literally in a ziploc it had been opened in a ziploc bag, put in a shoebox, and was in an attic for years. Got it for a steal from what's actual like kind of market value and could and that would happen with a lot of things like get a deal or find a better one or find them at shows but Shazam I just couldn't catch a deal and I had to I actually bought him carded and I freed him what what is it like to open a figure that is over almost almost 30 years old it's awesome and, and it, open it because it's like he's like you've seen the toy story thing where the, right. the toy goes crazy being locked away and right. I mean I don't think it actually goes crazy, but it feels good to let it, let it free. Breathe. Plus, I actually let people know. I was like, yeah, I got my Shazam today, and I took a picture, and people were like, cool. And then I showed pictures of me cutting it open, and I got like comments and posts that were like, why are you doing that? You're ruining it. Don't ruin it. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's just something about toys that are loose. I mean, these toys that are... Uh, I mean, you know, they're in good, they're all, all of these. There's not a single one of these that isn't in really good shape. I mean, you've got all the accessories. This is a complete collection in terms of the figures. I know you're, you don't have all of the vehicles. I need one but, vehicle, but, um, but still. They're, they're, I mean, Flash has nose paint, which never has nose paint, but, but I was you know, very one careful. Of the, one of the things about, about these uh, figures is, is the accessories and vehicles that they made. This is... T tell me again what this is called. It's called the Justice Jogger. The Justice Jogger. This and this. Who who rides in this? this well, is, they boxed it the, with I the, the boxes, boxes down, down here. here. They this packaged it. Superman is on the front of the Justice Jogger. <laughs> they packaged it this way because they knew the color scheme. That's the Superpowers color scheme: red, blue, yellow. Right. Which also happens to be Superman's color scheme, but they knew this would make a kid buy it, even though it was originally made for like Aquaman or Green. It was made for the heroes that weren't real superpowers. Super <laughs> oh no! It's the Justice Jogger. This one cracks me up. The Supermobile. Why does Superman need? And this is for Superman. It is. It for, has, it literally, has the logo right on the front no there. There's no way to talk your way yeah. around that. <laughs> so and you know uh, that way he can punch. Yeah, I, I never quite got that. And Lex Luthor. This one was one that I, actually I just recently got one of these. And this is an insane uh, toy. It's, I, as, this is a toy so that, much going on. that I loved as a kid. There was, there was, a, uh, <laughs> there was a, a commercial with the, the, him, um, the Batman and Robin chasing the Joker and with, with it and running through rocks and stuff like that. And it was always a lot of fun that Fantastic, though. And this one, you said that it was actually harder for you to find these. Well, I mean, there's a lot of these, like, I mean, not to be too technical, but we're talking about toys. So, like, um, Steppenwolf was mainly a mail-away. And there were literally a tiny, tiny amount of carded Steppenwolves with comics. And most of the carded Steppenwolves didn't even get comics. So there was just a tiny amount that had comics. So finding his comic was... I mean, it. I actually had it through doing some trades and stuff. Didn't know that I had it, and then you know, find out later that it's a mini comic worth fifty dollars. And it's like I'm not gonna pay. 
I'm insane, but I'm not going to give someone $50 for a tiny piece of paper like that. I kind of lucked into it. I lucked into a lot of these and, well, tell you know, it. trying to go through and find, because most people that sell these want to sell them with the figure. And right. It was hard to find everything. Well, tell me, if, if you don't mind, what's the most amount of money you have in a single figure here? Probably Shazam. And I think that, I want to, it was, I want to say it was 80, but the guy might have given it to me for 60, but. It was Shazam, because he was carded, because he's one of the most too rare. Right, and you have, uh, and that was a good deal. On it's that, it's on a that, good, for a carded Shazam. A carded I mean, Shazam. it was you know, right. You, they can go for 100, 150. You never know what they'll go for. The market kind of changes, but but the card was kind of yellow. And yeah, I think I liked that. Right. Yeah. No. And so for most of them, you don't have nearly that amount of money mm -hmm. in them. So that's that's great. 